Hello everybody and welcome to the Marino Show. I'm David Marino. I'm here with Mark of Like-Minded Lunatics. We have done music reaction videos before and it was so fun last time that I thought we'd do another one. We're going to be collaborating more as we move forward into the future, but again, for people who don't know about Like-Minded Lunatics, tell them a little about your channel and what you show on Austin Music TV. Absolutely. Thanks, David. So first off, thanks for having me back on the show. Yeah. And folks who don't know, David was instrumental in helping uh, my writing partner and I, Todd Wright, get a show on Austin Music TV. I will always be grateful to you for that. Oh. Um, so Todd and I started Like Minded Lunatics uh, about two or three years before the pandemic started. Uh, Todd is a, he's a teacher at UTSA just like I am, but we're writing partners and we did live shows. So basically old school radio style shows. And then we also did spoken word shows like uh, Worth Repeating in San Antonio and Testify here in Austin. And then the pandemic hit, couldn't do live shows anymore. And so Todd and I thought, let's just throw stuff up on YouTube to keep our chops sharp so we can keep doing this, talking to people. And we did, and it hit. So we've been doing music reactions, we do comedy bits, Todd does some video game stuff, and it's just a lot of fun. And it's an awesome show, so you have to catch it. And I'll put the links in the caption for this video. But today we're starting with Cindy Lauper, time after time, because you know last time I mentioned, I love the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, as we both did. Yes. And so the music from the 80s really, I feel, defined my childhood. So this was one of those songs for me. And you and I are about the same age, I think, yeah. just a few months apart. And this was one of those songs that I feel like was kind of instrumental in building up MTV to be the juggernaut that it would be. So like when I think about the beginnings of MTV, I think about... Van Halen, I think about the Boggles, and I think about Cyndi Lauper and Madonna mm -hmm. and and Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson. Yeah. and those those juggernauts. I feel like really define that era. And yeah. this song specifically, I didn't even tell you this on camera. I'm gonna cry during the video. This song makes me break down every time. Oh, I'm so glad that you meant. I'm not glad that you're gonna be crying. <laughs> well, maybe, but um, <laughs> I have, I'll mention it during the video. But this song like has a certain effect on me too because of of just like stuff you know it does it's an emotionally raw song yeah so this came out in 1984 folks this was off of the she's so unusual album that was the huge album girls just want to have fun mm -hmm. uh time after time she bop all of those songs were on this album huge huge album and david on friday night videos on like my lunatics i always oh, have a yeah. beverage with my video oh, okay so tonight i'm gonna go or today whenever yeah. you're airing this i thought i would bring that tradition i'm gonna go with a best made beer this is a bread and butter's pickle beer. Oh, that's different. I chose that because it's unusual, just like, like Cindy. Cindy Lop okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Were you ready to do this? Yes, later? I'm ready. Let's okay, go. Okay, so here we go, folks. Time after time by Cindy Lauper. Oh, let me see if I can find my thing. There we go. Okay. I came to say goodbye. But why, Boris? Why? I've made up my mind. I'm going away. Then I shall be alone. That journey into the desert you've spoken of, you will take it alone. What else can I do? Once you said to me that peace and happiness might be found there, you gave me hope. And now, now we have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Stop too much, but at the time, this was actually her boyfriend. I, one of the things I love about this video is that it starts you off watching TV on a crappy old CRT mm. video. And for folks our age, I know you remember staying up late, you had no choice over what you watched. Right. And so a lot of times there would be like Casablanca, or The Maltese Falcon, or some of these yeah. old films that were on, and it just hit me so, hits me so hard watching her yeah. do that. Um, yeah. Almost a lovely night Suitcase of memories Time after Sometimes you picture me I'm walking too far ahead You're calling to me I can't hear what you've said Then you said you go through So 
we're nice. about to get to the course. I'm sorry I yeah. paused it. No, you're good. That second hand unwinds line. Oh, I you're think, already crying. A little bit, oh yeah. My God. <laughs> that second hand. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I no, you can't. I don't care. <laughs> it's making fun worthy. Um, that second hand unwinds line, poetically, uh -huh. I think is one of the most beautiful lines I, I, I think I've ever read. And, yeah. I, and, I, and the reason this upsets me, not upsets me in a bad way, it, it reminds me of my mom. Oh, okay. And I know this song is about love between two people. But it could be any any circumstance. Really. Well, that's one of the things we talk about on the channel is yeah. ambiguity in lyrics. I think that that is the defining characteristic of beautiful art is that it allows you to read yourself into it. And I feel like this song solidified Cyndi Lauper as a writer, like a, like a musician writer. I think... When she came out with Girls Just Want to Have Fun, that was a, a brilliant song, but it, she didn't write that song. Right. It was written by a man, but then she went in and adjusted it because she's like, eh, this isn't how a woman would, would sing say. the song or what they would say. But for this song, it really solidified her talent because if people kind of looked at her as a oh one-hit wonder when that song came out or just like, oh, here's this girl with red hair. Because you have to remember at the time, she was very different. Like, well, and she also, and, and this is something I don't think a lot of people remember, is that she was in love with the WWF at the time. Yes. So Captain Lou Albino is in this video. Yep. And Goonies Are Good Enough and some of those girls yeah. just want to have fun. Entire Ke Roddy, Rowdy Roddy Piper yep. is in there. The Iron Sheik are mm -hmm. in there. And she was in KFAB. So in yeah. WWF, KFAB is like the imaginary storyline that you never break. Yeah. And if you watch interviews from her at this time, she is weird and quirky and yep. she's playing a character. Yeah. And you're right. So I feel like that she was kind of looked at as, well, she's just kind of an anomaly. There was more to it. Right. You love, you can look, and you will find me. So we saw her, I guess, three or four years ago at Moody when she was here oh, in town. Oh wow! I've never seen her live. I'd always, I've always wanted to. And one of the things that she did, and I've, I've kind of wondered if she did this because of how many artists are using backing tracks and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. She did this song completely a cappella, and there were moments where she was off the mic, intentionally off the mic, just singing a cappella and Moody, and it was just devastatingly raw. Uh, it, it was gorgeous. You were talking about, you know, how this song makes you think of your mom. Well, this scene that we just saw, that's her her real mom. Her real mom. In the video. So it does speak to the fact that even when she wrote it, and even the video represents that love can be between, you know, a romantic partner. It can be a parent. It can be a friend. So it really, it's all-encompassing. And, and that's what, like you said, I love about songs is that they can be interpreted however you want to interpret them and for your own life have a meaning to you. Exactly. And then just being able to put yourself into those lyrics. So it just, for some reason, there are some songs that just tap into primal emotions. And yeah. I think this is one of them. <laughs> So in the first verse, she she or the first chorus, she uh, she ends with the second hand unwinds, mm -hmm. and this one she ends with the drum beats out of time. Yeah, that's devastating. Life's going on, but it's now dissonant. Yeah, and it real. I mean, obviously the 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 theme of the video is that she's ready to to move on to her next step in life. Yep, and it's saying goodbye. 
to, to the like, old part. To the old part, yeah. And who can't relate to that? I know. And I, again, I hate to bring up age again, but when we get like now, mm -hmm. I feel like it's one of the, I, I don't know because I haven't been older, but we're we're on, I feel like we're on the worst end of both of it, yeah. where, we're, where we understand what we've lost and it's still close enough where I'm like, God, I wish that was still yeah. here. And then st stuff, we're losing stuff in front of us. Yeah. Family, friends. Yeah, I lost my dad like five years ago now. And so... As you get older, like these songs that you listen to, like as a youth were, for me, like it didn't have the impact it did at that time. Cause you're like 12, 13 or even younger, like, yeah. oh, you're just singing to it. But then as you get older, what always happens for me, and I'm sure it's the same with you, songs that I, that I didn't even love back then, <laughs> all of a sudden now I'm like, oh my God, I love this song. Cause you can relate to it. Yes. And it, it informs how you're feeling yeah. and all that. Yes. And this is one of the, I've always loved this song, but this is one of those where as you get older, <laughs> it really kind of messes with your emotion. It a hundred percent does. favorite yeah. in the entire song that where she ah that oh yeah. the longing in that I will get you up we waiting time after time That's the part that always kills me like that. So I was mentioning earlier, <laughs> I listened to this, like it was about, it was okay. So when my dad passed away, that was a horrible time in my life, obviously. But then I had had a new job at that time. Mm. My dad passed away and then I had a breakup all within like three months. Oh. So this song with my breakup initially, I was, I remember <laughs> it's so ridiculous now. But I was driving in my car, like crying, like time because we broke up and we were, because I was in the same town this person was in, then I moved and they were ready to move on Yeah. because I was not there and other reasons, but um, I was kind of left behind. And so when I listened to this song at that time, I was crying in my car on I-35 driving from my mom's house back to Austin, like, <gasps> you know, uh. just like. Yes. To this song, I listen to it over and you know how you do that when you're like going through a hard time. You'll listen to something that devastates you just over and over. Yeah. Of course, then like with everything, I think it's like there's levels of grief, whether it's death. And so a few months later, though, I was going through the anger part of my emotion with this person. It was like listening to Circle Jerks, I want to destroy you. There you go. So it was like a total like turn around from time after time. <laughs> do you know how that, that breakups go like that? It's like, do I know? Initially, it's like. You're devastated. And then when you start thinking about things, you're like, well, that piece, of, and then it just, it, you start listening that. That's what happened to me. I was initially sad. And then a few months later, you I was pulled angry. into anger. Yes. Yeah. So my anger song was Ugly Kid Joe's Everything About You. That's a great song. Do you remember that one? Yes. <laughs> I used to sing along to that because I just loved it. I hate everything about, about you. you. Yes. Yeah. And it's such a joyful song. It's, it's not. Very, it's very upbeat. It's not angry at the yeah. end. He's just like, man, I hate everything about you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's great. Well, this was an awesome re uh, reaction, um, and thanks for being so raw and honest. This is such a great. I can't be anything song. else. David. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this song, and um, so now we'll do another reaction video. So thank you for doing this one with me. Absolutely, I look forward to it.